Sully outside of the Hollywood Funko store and uh, I'm, I'm excited. You're, I, I can't Absolutely. imagine that you guys are, you're probably ecstatic about this. Such a big day. Months and months in the making and here we are. It's finally happening. The big grand opening. Yes, and a lot of goodies are coming with this grand opening, right? You have Absolutely. some exclusives launching that are for this store specifically. Yes. Which one is your favorite out of the ones that are launching here? There's some really good ones. I love the Ad Icons line, but you can never go wrong with Freddy Funko holding the star yes. with the sunglass. It could not be more iconic for the big day. Yeah. I'm super hyped about that, Bob. I'm personally looking forward to Bob's Big Boy. Oh, nice. That, that one is that one is definitely. I don't I don't collect a ton of ad icons. I'm very specific. I, I collect more characters than lines. Right. Yeah. So I'm I'm excited about that one. But this is just I'm I'm excited to get in there in what four minutes stores insane i wouldn't spoil it for anybody by the time this comes out they've probably already yes. seen some photos but every time i would turn a corner in there and think i've seen it all there's more areas to look uh, at there's more awesome stuff i saw chases on the shelves waiting ooh. for fans i'm super excited i saw stuff i didn't know it existed in there that's awesome yeah, yeah. it's so much fun oh man this is gonna be great well thanks for uh, chatting with me yeah no worries all right here we go we are walking inside of funko hq in hollywood anyway I, yes, woo, yeah, look at this. All right, so here we are, you can see this, I mean, this place is massive, uh, it's huge. I'm in line to pick up some of the exclusives, which I will show you in a little bit later in the video, but uh, it's, it's really cool in here. All right, so we are up here at the beginning of the store, and I'm gonna give you guys a full walkthrough. We're gonna check out everything. So I got my bag of goodies, and uh, let's head into the first section here. So this is the Marvel section here. You can see it's actually pretty extensive. We have a giant Thanos on the throne, and uh, if we just go along the walls here, you can see that we have a lot of the Marvel 80 year stuff over in this area. Uh, we have just pops everywhere. There are a bunch of cool T-shirts laying around, some Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 right there. And over here we have Agent Venom. We have a lot of the Venom line stuff, which are pretty awesome. Some people looking for chases over here. We have Infinity War and there's some Endgame pops as well as, a, well look at that, Venomized Thanos, which is cool. You know, this is a giant Star-Lord. That's, that's pretty awesome. It's a little Captain Marvel section. And as you can see, Thanos is over there in the corner. So we kind of made our way around this way. And next we have Ant-Man and the Wasp. Look at these 10-inch Hulks down here. We do have some uh, summer convention exclusives, fall convention exclusives. Uh, we have gold chrome right here. If you're into any of the gold chrome stuff, they got you right here. And some lounge fly bags over here on the corner. But yeah, that's pretty much the Marvel section here. We have a giant Groot right outside as well, which is pretty awesome. And so behind me, we have the Harry Potter section. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Look at all this stuff. Look at a little table here. You can sit, get like a little photo op at. Swooper, look at that. Look at this little swooper right here. That's pretty cool. So this whole section is Harry Potter. And boy, does it look fantastic in here. It looks so awesome. Like honestly, I mean, we have everything down to like there's a little fireplace here. We have some t-shirts and look at upstairs. You can even go upstairs. So we do have like a lot of the different lines here as well. Some bags uh, from Loungefly over here, which look pretty awesome. And I mean, just basically all things Harry Potter. This is like kind of a Harry Potter dreamland if you're if you're into the the line. This is where you're gonna find pretty much everything. And I mean, I think it's pretty awesome. Transitioning though, there's a door that connects Harry Potter to the DC universe over here. We have a lot of different characters. Look at these though. These are this is probably my favorite part. All these giant pop statues, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman. We have Robin over here. Oh, look at that. We have some of these primal age figures and a lot of different, just everything Batman over here. This is just super rad. We also do have some of the uh, Jim Lee pop deluxe here. We have Wonder Woman and there's Superman right here as well as the DC Funkoverse game. And then we have some Wonder Woman pops here as well. This is actually a really cool backpack, this Wonder Woman bag. Uh, kind of a kind of got like an old school like tattoo vibe to it. We do have a pretty awesome Batgirl statue right here, and uh, we do have some other DC bombshell stuff over here as well. And then on the opposite side, which is outside of the 
big superhero statues. We have a Harley Quinn statue, as well as some Suicide Squad stuff, and some Joker stuff also. Just tons of cool things here. So literally right outside of the DC area that you can see behind me, we have a whole nother world. Over here we do have a cool little mermaid setup, which looks pretty awesome. Uh, you can take a photo with Ariel. We have Ursula back there and Flounder and Sebastian and just the whole thing. I mean, it's absolutely insane in here. We have a bunch of Little Mermaid pops against the wall right there. And over here, I know this is you guys' favorite area because I know how you are. You guys love this stuff. We have, we have a Frozen section. Look at that. It's pretty rad. And across the way, of course, we do have other Disney pops as well that you can see here. So you can see here that we do have like Cinderella, Rapunzel, we have the Seven Dwarves right there and Snow White oh, and some bags. And over on the other side, we have Belle and we have some Pocket Pops. Um, this guy is cool, the Enchanted Rose. It came out, uh, I think, uh, 2017, I wanna believe, but they have a few right here. Cool backpack as well, but man, this thing is just massive. We do have the Jurassic Park Jeep right here. Oh, look at that, we got Ian sitting up there. I think I can actually, some of these, some of these things here, these statues and these cars and stuff, you can actually sit inside of. So we could sit inside of there and uh, you know take a photo or something. And you can see they have other photo ops right here. Like we have some Disney characters and a throne that you can sit on. And ooh, look at that guy. This is, this is pretty rad. And then we have the Loot Llama over here. Loot Llama, Fortnite fans, right here. I don't think you can sit on the Loot Llama though, but you know, whatever. All right, so over here we do have, uh, I believe this is a bunch of TV stuff. Yeah, these are all television pops. So we have Scrubs and Mad Men, Mad Men and Veep, The Walking Dead. There's a bunch of t-shirts over here too, which are pretty rad. And, uh, and then we have The Office, of course, everybody's favorite. Who, who doesn't like The Office? A lot of TV stuff here. Uh, we do have some Rick and Morty. Look at this Rick and Morty section. This is huge. And you can actually get up in there. See, there's people sitting inside of there taking photos with these Rick and Morty statues, which is pretty rad. And I forgot to point out this giant dinosaur poking out the side over there, which is awesome. Ooh, we have Freddy Funko up here. He's in like a broadcasting room as well. And over here, what is this? Ooh. Stranger Things. This is a pretty rad looking section. All this stuff, Stranger Things area. There's a lot of pops over here. Good stuff, we have a Demogorgon. And I mean, all of this is just, it's super cool looking. Oh, and if we walk up here, look at this. We can walk up these stairs, kind of get a bird's eye view of the entire place. Plus, White Walker back here. And uh, we have uh, Viserion, I think, is who I'm standing on right now from Game of Thrones. Look at that, there's a whole section I didn't even see over there. Uh, I mean, there, there's just so much to take in here. All right, so we are walking over into the horror section. This is a horror section dedicated. Welcome to the Fright House. Yeah. The Fright House is what this is. We got Bill and Gisso over here. Warner over there. This is crazy. So awesome. Yo, man. Oh, welcome, welcome. Look at this. This is beautiful. All these horror pops, you guys. Horror pops everywhere. And it's got like a dark and spooky vibe. Look at this. It's like a spooky looking mirror. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Was not expecting that. <laughs> so many horror pops here. And we have Ghostbuster Slimer. Uh, there's some Pez there as well. Pennywise. We have Look at all this stuff. Beetlejuice, the Gremlins. All right, heading out here. Oh, we got a table full of Game of Thrones, which is cool. This little area, I don't even know what's over here. There's just kind of all kinds of random stuff everywhere. This is Star Wars. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. We have gold Chrome Vader. We have red Chrome Vader. We have the gold Walmart exclusives. Uh, we do also have just the regular lineup right here and uh, some vinyls over here. Uh, we have some other, ooh, look at that. That's a pretty cool backpack. And we have a Kylo Ren mug behind me as well. This is a whole little Star Wars universe though over here. Pretty cool looking stuff. Let's check this out. So we do have some other Star Wars pops sitting up here against the wall. Uh, these are some of the newer wave right there. And uh, then we have like the First Order Tread Speeder and uh, we have a uh, Kylo Ren right here. The amount of opportunities here though for like photo ops and stuff is unreal. Like you can kind of sit down at the table 
You can take a picture with some of your favorite characters. Look at this right here. You can take a photo, which is pretty rad as well. And whoa, I turn around and we have two more characters. They're just kind of seated all over this place. And I know this is kind of like a, you know, really a hectic kind of walkthrough, but I'm just super excited to be here, guys. So over in this area, we have some Funko Shop exclusives right here. Ooh, this, I think my brother might like this one. He's, he's big into Doctor Who, but we do have Count Chocula. Uh, we have Chet that uh, was, came out not too long ago. And we have Sigmund right here, as well as, uh, oh, look at that. This is the uh, San Diego Comic-Con gold Demogorgon glow in the dark uh, Venomized Storm. And I think around the corner, we do have some other stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, a lot of these are just the vinyl Freddies that are sitting right here. And, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I just ran into somebody. What's your yeah, name, man? Lloyd, man. Lloyd. A big follower, so, bro. Are you happy? Are you excited yeah, about yeah, this day? Yeah, I'm very excited, man. I waited, I waited about a couple of hours. What time and, did you get here? Uh, I actually came from Fresno. It took me about five hours to drive wow. to here. Uh, took, I waited in line for roughly two hours, man. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I drove here from Phoenix. Damn. So, yeah, it's a, oh, yeah. It's it's a good, good time. Guys, man. This is so cool. Yeah. I'm yeah. so excited yeah. about this place. I'm, I, this is a bonus for me, bro. So it's a good meeting, bro. <laughs> Thank have you so again. much. So we do have some exclusive t-shirts here as well. I definitely picked those up. These are pretty awesome. So we have the Funko Hollywood. It's kind of a shimmery silver look like the Mickey t-shirt that came uh, with the Amazon 3-pack. Uh, so it's got like that chromey silver kind of look. And we have another one right here that says, We Are Family. And uh, that's just right in front of all the Funko Shop exclusives. So these are all Freddy vinyls. And over here, we have sports. We have a sports section, which is pretty awesome as well. And you can see behind me, we have the moon person or moon man or whatever you want to call it, uh, along with uh, all more sports pops. It's kind of weird that they have the moon person over here by all the sports and WWE, NASCAR and stuff. We do have some pop rocks here as well, big pop rock section. And look at this guy, friggin' Michael Jordan, just chilling. This is the Saturday morning area. And oh, look at that, we have a bunch of Count Chocula's here behind me. Uh, we do have Captain Crunch. Look at this guy. I just, I love all of the giant statues that they have everywhere. And uh, we do have the Crunchberry Beast, Captain Crunch. Look at this giant cereal. <laughs> What's up? We have Rosie the Robot. There's a whole Jetsons area over here as well. And uh, I mean, the whole thing is just filled with photo ops. I, I keep saying that, but it's like kind of the case here. Even with the, the Flintstones right here. And over there, we have the Kool-Aid Man. Oh, if you're a fan of Pez, boom. Look at this. Giant Kool-Aid Man, giant Huckleberry Hound Pez in the corner. Uh, we do have Sour Patch Kids as well. Look at them, they're riding little horses. <laughs> this is freaking adorable over here. Uh, we do have some Peeps as well and uh, some random t-shirts and stuff like that. All right, so as we head out of Saturday morning cartoons, you can see this big screen behind me just playing all the jams, basically. Um, let's head out of here. We have another area over this way. You can see it's, it's a madhouse in here. There are so many people in here. There's no way I'm gonna be able to cover this entire thing in this video. So I suspect that if you're not subscribed, you should do that and stay tuned for another video because there definitely will be one. So here we have a little Disney section. Um, we have Carl and Sully, and we have some Toy Story stuff over here as well. Look at that, photo op right there. Pretty awesome. You can take a picture with all the Toy Story pop statues, which is cool too. And uh, this is actually where they're handing out all of the exclusives that you saw me grab before. So over in this area, you can see this is the Pop Factory, the same thing that I did at the Everett store. Um, they have it here. Uh, the only problem is it's not actually up and running right at this moment. You can see everything's kind of empty over there. And this is like the exclusive station, as I pointed out. So they're, they're passing out exclusives. They have these cool Hollywood suitcase boxes here. And uh, over there, we have different parts. So I'm hoping maybe tomorrow, I can get over there and make, uh, make a cool pop again because I really did like the Pop Factory from uh, the Washington exclusive, so yeah. All right, so next in here, we do have a huge anime section. Like, look at this. Look at that giant All Might statue. That's pretty freaking rad. Oh, and we do have some Fortnite stuff over here as well. All right, so let's definitely walk over here. I mean, there's a bunch of Dragon Ball Z pops down here. Uh, we do, oh look, we do have some Rick and Morty over here as well. This is a Rick and Morty section. 
And uh, I think there's just a lot of animation in here, not necessarily just anime. Uh, we do have Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Uh, so we have games and animation in here, it seems like. And uh, wow, okay, look at that. We do have some other My Hero Pops right here. We have Ochako. And around the corner, oh, we have uh, Weekend All Might and All For One down there as well. There's just so much stuff laying around here. SpongeBob Corner. Pretty much if there's a fandom, it's probably here. All right, so we are here in the checkout line. Uh, it's a pretty long line to get down to here. It, it, I think we've been waiting in line for maybe like, I wanna say like a half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. It's pretty crazy. You can see that there's just a ton of people here, but they're being very uh, efficient with checking people out though, which I, uh, I definitely appreciate, but we're almost there. I got a bag full of stuff and you're definitely gonna have to stay tuned for an entire haul video from HQ. Got it. All set. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Next guest paying with car. All right, we're checked out and we are headed outside. Whew. What an experience that was in there. And there's, I mean, there's still walking people over from, from uh, the whole area uh, where you check in and everything. It's absolutely crazy. But this, my friends, is the Funko Hollywood store and it's pretty damn awesome if you ask me. I don't know, I put down my bags for a second and uh, just kind of take this all in. <laughs> it's been a long morning. I've been, I got here early, I checked in, I've been hanging out with a lot of you guys here that I've been meeting up with. It's just been a blast all around. And I don't know, let me know what your favorite spot is in the store, in the comment section. What did you like the most out of this whole experience? And like I said, stay tuned for a haul video because you know that's coming. And I'm gonna have a couple other surprises coming up here pretty soon too. So. Let me know your favorite section, your favorite exclusive from here, all that stuff. I'm kind of scatterbrained right now, so um, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And hit the notification bell so you're notified when new videos like this drop in the future. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.